a beautiful Wednesday morning and you are still watching Morning Rush. But of course, if you are still with us in this segment, it means that it is almost time for you to get out of the house. Not before we're done, but like it's time. So just wrap up whatever it is you're doing. If you're having breakfast, finish up that breakfast calmly. No rush, no rush. Your boss will understand. Or will they? Um, anywho, today is Wednesday. <laughs> and we, of course, take this day to celebrate women in entertainment, the women who are making strides, trying to change the media and entertainment landscape as we know it. And I am joined by radio and television personality. Some call her Miss Becky. Others call her Becky K. I call her Rebecca. <laughs> Good morning, Becky. Morning, Candice. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I am absolutely tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. I know it's not from waking up early in the morning. It's just from waking up, isn't it? Yes. Oh, okay, fine. We'll use that. Yes, we'll use that. <laughs> we'll use that. <laughs> now, Becky, I, I, you're one of those women who I'm so proud to say I've seen you grow in the space. Oh, yes, I've seen yes. when you started from trying to get in and all that. Mm. And it's been... It's been um, a difficult into beautiful journey for you. Yeah. But let's go right to the beginning of mm -hmm. Rebecca. Wow, before you just Rebecca did that. Found, <laughs> yes, before Rebecca found Becky. Yes. Um, was media a path you always thought you wanted to get into? Never. Yeah. Media was not in the picture. I think for as long as I can remember, I want. I knew I wanted to work with people, mm. and it was going to be in the beauty industry. Mm. I wanted to own this big spa, mm. and that had physiotherapy sections and coffee shop, and 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 like a whole wellness center. Yeah. That is what Becky's image was for her life. And while I was based in SA, I think this was in the early two thousands, I got involved in this church and they w needed someone to to do announcements mm. and they needed like a visual aspect of the announcements and i was mm. like oh i'll do it because i like things mm. not because, <laughs> this not, is no secret yes not uh, because I, I wanted tv or mm. anything but because i just liked things yeah and i did one announcement and the pastor in the church was like wow Okay. Um, we've got something here. Mm. And then I started watching, you know, South African TV. You know how it is. Mm. Everyone is just a presenter in that yes, country. Yes. And I fell in love with it. Mm. Like, oh, that would be a nice extra thing to do. Mm. Fast forward 2016, all I wanted to do was I want to be on TV. I mm. want to be on TV. I want to be on TV. And then my debut to the world, because I was doing it in churches, mm. uh, my debut to the world was when I hosted the Miss Tourism in 2016. Mm. And from then on, it just took off. It just, it took, just off. took off. Yeah. Now, I interacted with you a little earlier than that. I think it was 2012 when you were doing voiceovers. Yes. Um, how did this, this space kind of help groom you? Um, also looking at that background of doing announcements in church. How did it help groom you for ultimately the woman you are becoming now? Right. So I'm big on doing things for God, mm. right? And the best way I could, I can't serve him directly. Mm. So I was like, hey, what can I do in church? Mm. And if, I, I couldn't be an usher, sorry. <laughs> not, not happening. Not your um, space. Choir, I tried it, but I got tired, all the practices, and mm. I was like, ooh, not me. Mm. And I had to find something to do in church. And I fell in love then with the microphone. Mm. But the grooming I got from church was a preparation of what the bigger world stage had in store for me. Mm. So while I was in church, yes, that made me, I would be made to run around, I would be made to take testimonies in church, do this, prep this, write a script. I'm like, write a script? What am I writing? And all of that. Mm. By the time I then got into the circular media space, mm. I was somewhat prepared, but then you, it schooled me. <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Now, of course, um, you know, the space comes with a lot. It's, it's, it's not the smoothest ride. Yep. And it, sometimes it's very discouraging. Mm -hmm. um, I, I get that you do things for God, um, but there's also been some kind of um, toll on it that's made you question. What, what were some of those instances? Um, well, you don't have to go into specifics if you All don't right. want to, but what were some of those instances? Um, and after a quick prayer, how did you pull yourself out of it? Um, doing jobs for free. Yeah. 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 Doing jobs for free. I had to learn that there are some jobs where you can say, I give myself away. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I, I donate my time yes, to you. Yes, I donate my right. time to you 
for the bigger picture because now I had to consider the audience. Who's mm. going to be at this function? Mm. Who's going to see me? Is there going to be someone who's going to bring me out from the circle that I'm going like round and round? I keep doing the same thing. So maybe if I do this one event, maybe someone will pick me out and someone did mm. <laughs> pick me out. But it was that where I would do a job and not get paid for it. Even when I got into the entertainment industry, it was doing a job, not getting paid for it, and then you've got kids at home mm. who are waiting to like, Mama, what did you bring? Mm. And I then had to gird myself up and say, Becky, there are some things that you have to draw the line and be like, this I will do for free, this, this not I'm not doing it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, now, as a woman in the entertainment space, in the media space, um, again, hurdles loop the loops thrown left right and center but mm -hmm. you found your feet um and 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 now we've grabbed you and embraced you entirely how does that feel it feels amazing candace it feels because when i think about it you know what i mean yeah like you're looking for a great party you're looking for like some great entertainment you want an mc with the vibe Becky K, girl. you know, I'm the girl. Mm. I want to go straight to go jump server and must pick up mm. Shika up. And then I got to a point when I was like, phew, some 16-year-old is going to come mm. and she's going to be able to do this better than I am. I need to find my feet mm. and some form of grounding. And I found it in the corporate space. I found it in the church sector. Mm. And I found it on radio. I found it in television. And I was like, yeah, this is, this is more more mm. me but breaking through that oh it, it was painful because mm. i was like will they accept me they know me as this what corporate will book me when they've seen me jumping mm. ah, <laughs> you know so <laughs> yeah what did you learn about yourself in this journey that i can do anything i set my mind to mm. i procrastinate a lot yeah Yes, I'll do it tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow right. but then i realized every time when i said i'll do it now it worked out and then i'm shocking out Girl, did you do that? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's, 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 it was that. So, Becky, you are not lazy. Mm. You just procrastinate. Mm. But you can set your mind to do something, and then you get it done. Mm. Mm. And now we're winning awards, Mama. Yeah. We're winning awards. Congratulations <laughs> on that. I'm speaking about the Ladies in Media Award. I mean, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that off um, as a joke? <laughs> <laughs> with the awards, the first nomination I've ever received in my life was for Classy Zim Weddings for mm. MC of the Year or mm. something, and I was up against gentlemen. Mm. And I literally rolled my eyes because I was like, oh, it's going to the gents. They should yeah. just do a sector where it's just for yeah. for women, you know, to more quickly than I did my Zimai Yukoko. But it was an honor to be announced amongst them. And then the second award that I won was for Megafest, for Radio Personality. Mm. And I wasn't even at the event. Someone sent me a message, says, Becky, you won. I'm like, I won what? <laughs> <laughs> so um, that was the first award. Then the second award was for, uh, it, it was M female MC uh, for, for weddings. Mm. Wedding female MC of the year. And I'm like, whoa, mm. OK. We're, this is something. This is, this something. is something. OK, mm -hmm. this is getting there. And then the ladies in media won. Mm. Yo, I remember looking at the other ladies in the same category and I was like, yeah, good going, Becky. Well done. Better luck next time. <laughs> no, because, you know, I, I don't know why we do it. Mm. I was looking at them and I was like, yo, Nigeria, Ghana. Mm. And then there was you. Mm. And I'm like, my God, mm. what's going to happen here? But I said here? to you, I said this specifically to you. I said, you deserve to be there. You and did. you didn't believe me. No. Sometimes you must no. listen to me. I, I, I will listen to you, Candice. I believe you now. <laughs> I, I, lo I love it. I love it. <laughs> and now you've joined us at Capitol. I did. Wonderful. How's I that did. going? So far, so good. It's talk radio. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was so much talking in talk radio. <laughs> <laughs> My dad, I got music. Oh, man. <laughs> You know, uh, coming from a radio station that was uh, mostly entertainment and mm. then, you know, a little bit of talk here and there, and then jumping ship to talk radio. I was really excited because I was like, I don't go knock down right I can talk. And now you realize uh, And then I get there I don't and I'm have like, the vocabulary for this. Ah, the English bundles. <laughs> okay, let's read a little bit more. Let's do. But it's been an amazing journey. I'm learning a lot. I thought I knew about radio, but you. You're learning. You. Mm. I'm, I'm really learning. Capital is absolutely amazing. I love my bosses. I love my colleagues. Aye, the atmosphere. I love my love session. It's, no, but it's amazing. <laughs> okay. No, we, we love it for you. Um, what next for Becky? I don't know. Hey. Mm. 
-hmm. I think I'm just taking it as it comes. I am building a portfolio that uh, my kids are going to be proud of, that mm -hmm. I'm going to be proud of, that my family is going to be proud of. So if it looks like where Becky wants to go, I'm proud of it. Right, mm -hmm. right. Well, in this space right now, right here, we are extremely proud of you. Thank and you. May there be bigger, better, and a greater for you. Uh, now, very quickly, in a nutshell, as we wrap up, number one, where do people find you? Number two, just somebody out there is looking and saying, I want to be in that space. From your perspective, what are the best steps to take? All right, so for those who are looking for me, you can find me on Instagram, official Becky K, on Twitter, uh, Be official Becky K again, LinkedIn, uh, Rebecca Muchenje, the name that you know, <laughs> right? And then for those who want to get into the industry, please put in the work. It's mm. not going to be uh, like a quota system, especially if you're a woman. It's not going to be like a quota system thing. You are going to get employed or hired for the job based on what it is that you can do. So put in the work. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sitting down. There's this morning you can go about the rest of your day. Uh, just like that? Yeah, no, sit, not yet. Okay. Look, we are done with Morning Rush for this morning. Morning. Thank you so much for hanging out with us as you do every single day from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. We appreciate you. We appreciate spending time with you. But it's time for you to go out there and have a winning Wednesday. We'll see you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed tomorrow. Bye.